Today I will show you how to back up and restore your existing Cisco switch or router using TFTP server. Since this is the, pol the topology, um, let's assume that the PC can reach the router and you are plugged on the same switch. The main purpose of why we need to back up the device using TFTP because sometimes we have a router or a switch that we need only to change uh, with a new one. So rather than doing the command again one by one, so you can just back up the config file of your router and then just restore it. So it will be it will be more easier for us to deploy the new device. Okay. So what we need to do, so we need to install the put in your laptop. We'll install SolarWinds TFTP server, the pre version. We'll check the reachability of the between the PC and the router. And then we will make sure that your PC power is off because if if it is on sometimes the TFTP will not work. And then we'll execute the running config command. Okay. So now we'll see the PC. I have the PC here. <coughs> As you can see so first we need to check the connectivity okay so cmd in so as you can see in the diagram so we'll ping 1070.10.1 okay 1070.10.1 1. so from this pc ping 1070.10.1 so it is reachable second you check your firewall make sure it's off turn off firewall so off, turn off all click ok and then the next thing you have to install the putty so the putty you, the putty you can download it from this website okay i will close this i will close this so that it's easy so you can download here and then install to your pc and for the solar winds you will download it from this website in the, for solar winds you will download on this website and then install also to your PC so since I already downloaded I will show you how to install okay so I'll close this I have the installer here I will install first the potty let's run next 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 install then finish so we install already the party to access it just search party click on it so the party is now in here <coughs> okay we're using ssh since my router and switch are already configured on ssh so the next thing is we need to install the solar winds okay solar winds so you just click run next cancel so for solar winds i will just download it okay say proceed <coughs> download so and then open it double click then run I agree install launch okay so now we have solar winds after we install the solar we have to set up where the file will be saved okay, configure from here you can browse and then you can create a folder so i already created config tp so just i will just select it and then okay okay so now the tp is ready 
So we'll go to your our party and then we will access the suites. Okay. So 10 70.10.1. Then you put your credential. So as you can see, sure show sure running config. So I have some configuration. So now we will do the command. Okay. So I will make sure you can see the TFTP server because it will show the file while it's copying. Okay, I will do like this and then the command is copy run config then tftp tftp then press enter and then for the remote is your uh, you will put the IP of your PC 1070.10.3 so as you can see here 1070.10.3 destination will be 1070.10.1 so I'll come back then press enter destination will be 1070.10.1 then enter as you can see here it's already started and completed so when you go to the folder on your desktop you will see the file is here so that's the part of um, uh, that's the part where you will back up your router so in this what I will do I will just change the router host name so that we will restore the file okay so that we can see if the restore is successfully or not so I will just put in host name uh, config t host name host name um, I will just put router router rather than router one okay just enter exit write or you can do copy copy running running config to start up config okay we're done so as you can see the the router now is i changed already the host name then we'll do the restore Okay, now we'll do we'll restore the configuration that we saved to the TFTP server from TFTP going to the router. So we'll just open the same screen. So you have to command from the router. Copy. Run. Run config. TFTP. Wrong. the command is okay now we'll copy now we'll, we will restore the the config that we saved from our folder the folder is this one I will open it okay the file name is 1070.10.1 Okay, that's the name of the config file that I see so the command is copy copy tftp okay. then running running config and then enter the remote host will be your PC and then two dot one six eight dot ah, sorry ten seventeen dot ten dot three and then the destination source file will be this one if you change this for example you change this to for example router 
con y let's say like this uh, no I will not change it I will just copy this 10.70.10.1 that that's the file name because it is saved now and that's it that that's when I save it to the TFTP server and then destination file name will be running config okay Okay, now I'm just there. So now, okay, we'll just uh, restore the config file that we saved on the FTP server with this this one. Okay, and the command is copy tftp and then running config and then enter the remote address will be your pc pc address 1070 uh, 1070.10.3 as you can see on the diagram this one so we'll copy from here going to one to so the destination then press enter as you can see take note that the host name is router only okay and then the destination will be your router which is 10 17 the 10 one press enter and then destination file name what kind of file name you want to put so, so it should be running config just enter wrong again 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 let's do it again so we'll start now number one uh, to restore you have to cut to do to execute the command copy 
pftp then run config enter and then the address of the remote host meaning where is the file is saved which is in your pc on your tftp router as you can see 10.70.10.3 so just put 10.70.10.3 and then what is the source file name so this is the source file name i will type it router config one then press enter destination file name will be running config it's, it's okay just press enter and then we are successfully copy the config okay as you can see from this host name it become router one so that's that's how we do the the backup and noise store of our config thank you please don't forget to click and subscribe in my channel